Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool slideshow effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, I honestly could not come up with a better name um, for this effect other than just slideshow, so we'll just call it a slideshow effect. Now, if you watched the intro of the video and you don't really understand what this effect is or you've never really seen this effect, the two main places where I've seen this effect being used was I believe it was either before the NBA Finals or during the NBA Finals. Someone made a video just like this of LeBron James and a couple days before I started working on this video, Kansas City Chiefs um, posted a video, the exact same effect of Patrick Mahomes. So I thought, why not create my own video with Tom Brady using the same effect. Now let's go over basically each of the steps that it took to create this video. So the first step is you're gonna wanna find images. Now I have 42 different images as you can see right here. Um, you literally just go off of Google and download the images. Now something you have to keep in mind is the, the effect might not look as seamless because you only have access to the public photos. You have to remember a lot of these companies with these really cool videos, like the NBA and NFL who do these type of videos, you have to understand they have access to more images than what's out, what, what the public has access to. So you can do your best and make the effect as best as you possibly can, but you won't be able to compete with the professionals primarily because they have access to more images than you. So you want, so once you find the images, you want to import them into Final Cut Pro 10. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you want to make sure that all of the clips or all of the images are exactly the same duration. I set them all at two frames each. So I basically the key for it, the keyboard shortcut is going to be up on screen. I just uh, just press Control D two and then return. The two can be uh, swapped out with three, four, five. It basically just is the number of frames each image is held. I just uh, stuck with two because you want this effect to go pretty fast. So control D two and then return or enter. Now you want to figure out a way to center the video or center all the images. As you can see right here, I found this green image. Oh, I just made it on Canva and then I put this little purple circle around it to make sure that the head was centered Every single one of these images, the head is centered or the face is centered right in that um, pink circle. So you want to adjust the images, move the images, and you want to make sure his head is perfectly lined up with a circle. Obviously, it doesn't have to be his head or face. It can be whatever you want to be centered, but I just stuck with his face. So I want to make sure that every single image, his face was directly centered with that purple um, circle. And that's one of the most important things to do. Obviously, you want to import a background. You could just stick with black, blue, whatever color you want. Want, I decided to stick with um, white so I put white underneath all of these clips and then I just put a crowd cheer sound effect that I got from epidemic sound of course it, it does not matter which sound effect you use you could use music whatever you want I chose to use like a crowd cheer uh, sound effect I think that fit really well um, with the entire effect and that's honestly pretty much how you do it as you can see right here on top of this I just have a little center right here to make sure all of the images are centered every single image is exactly two frames there is a white background just to make it aesthetically pleasing and then as you can see right here there is a sound effect underneath it just to help the, the uh, le help the video to have sound because no sound the video is just not going to sound as good now once you have once this is all done you can go ahead and just press v and disable the clip disable this clip or you can just delete this clip this is important to make sure obviously you don't want to have the circle in the final video so let's go ahead you know go ahead and play it right here as you can see that effect honestly looks pretty cool um, and again the other day you can go ahead and mess around with it I might mess around with this effect a little bit before I decide to actually post it but I kind of want to give you a general idea of how I create this effect let's go ahead and disable this and let's replay the effect right here and there you go the circle is gone but as you can see right here there we go this is the full timeline editing breakdown of what it takes to create this effect it took me at least five to seven hours in total to make this entire effect come together because obviously you want to import all the images and rearrange them and make sure they're all in the correct order you want to rename them uh, that's incredibly important you're going to be really really frustrated when the, if the clips aren't named anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative don't forget to hit that subscribe button i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every single sunday wednesday Wednesday and Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy watching Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you guys on the next one. Peace.